but also I've never been to Europe, so I'm I, <laughs> I have no excuses. The dog is cute and all, but look at that hair. Oh yeah, your hair. I don't know how you get it so vibrant. Please rate this boss name using numbers one through ten. But I, I guess I, I just have like natural. I, I would want my hair to be as vibrant as yours, but I also, um, my natural hair color is like pretty much black. <gasps> so I would have to lighten it to oblivion. <laughs> Dirty blonde lightens very easy. Ah, oh, that's it's it does look real good. I've never been to Mars either, and I know how to pronounce it. Thanks for it. thanks for standing up for me. What a true pal. I have such good VIPs in the channel. False knight. Why is he not true knight? I'm sure that's in the lore that I ignored while playing this game. <laughs> we may not be the ones you deserve, but they're the, we're the ones you need. DK, when are you going to dye your hair bright, uh, fluorescent yellow? That line never made sense at all. I'm firmly convinced Batman, the most overrated ones in the most. Wait, I thought they were good. I like the Dark Knight. I fell asleep. Mm, I fell asleep during the third one. The Dark Knight Rises, whatever that one is. The, the third of the, tri the Nolan Batman trilogy. Uh, I fell asleep in the theater during it. Oops. I've never properly seen that one. <laughs> it added to the list of movies that Sans has fallen asleep in the theater, in addition to Mad Max Fury Road, the third Nolan Batman movie, and The Shape of Water. That's a long list. It's only three. It's only three. I've also I also fell asleep during a live production of The Sound of Music. <laughs> I fell asleep in the theater. Oh, I'm, I'm implying there's more. There have been more in. The, I'm talking about like in the theater. Okay. Movies that I have fallen asleep to in the theater. That's where I get all my sleep. Yeah. This is the second time I've seen it. Wait, wait, wait. I fell asleep in theaters watching The Passion of the Christ. I already read the book. Uh, I did see that in the theaters, and I... Um, I actually had to walk out at one point. And like go to the bathroom for a couple minutes because I 
I'm not. I'm not. I'm really not go good with very specific types of gore in in movies. And Passion of the Christ had a scene where I was like, I can't do this, and I had to walk out before I passed out. <laughs> During Inception, I, I I did not fall asleep during Inception. I was very engaged in that one. <laughs> Fell asleep in the expensive seats where people can see you at the opera. Oh, like in the like in the boxes like above the stage. That just adds to the performance. Wow. First Avatar had my fight or flight engaged. Like the Avatar Blue People movie. I also always have to clarify because Avatar Last Airbender is also a thing. I very much dislike the Avatar movies. And I'm resentful that... Yeah, blue. No, no, no. Most most of the time, av when people say Avatar, that means the the blue people. But um, I'm resentful for the fact that yes. the newest one got nominated for an Oscar, and V and I go to see all of the Oscars every year, all of the Best Picture nominees specifically. So we had to go see it, and I hated every minute of it. It's just so long. Literally, the movie's like three and a half hours, and there is an hour and a half's worth of fight scenes in the movie. Yeah, there's an entire movie's worth of fight scenes within the movie. <laughs> um, does the music on stream ever distract you from playing? Uh, no. It's actually kind of quiet for me. I don't know if it's quiet for y'all. I'm going to turn up a little bit. It caught me before I transitioned into the banana. The time warp caught me before banana. Wait. Why am I not? Oh. I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't see uh, because the, the overlay was on. I couldn't see if I had properly turned it and in, turned into a banana or not. It was too. It was too crunched together that time. DK. Where's the sexy carrot redeem? I mean, there is no sexy carrot redeem. You just have to ask for it. <laughs> there it is. I am a sexy carrot. Oh, there we go. You hate it? Wait, what do you hate? I'm a sexy carrot. Come on. Come on. What's wrong with being a sexy carrot? The monkey was funny. The monkey's good. The monkey's good. The bee's pretty cursed, I agree. Hey. Hey. You can't put me in jail. I'm too sexy for this jail. Nice knees, Sam. 
because it's funny content. Ooh, that's not the zoom I meant to do. <laughs> I grant. <laughs> All right, I guess we're doing the next stretch as Sexy Carrot. Did we just upskirt a Sexy Carrot? I think it, it was unintentional. I When I zoom in the, the closer thing, apparently it's focused on the, the bottom. Well, the, the center of the camera is, is really just the legs. Yay! It's I. It's an. I don't think it is a sexy carrot. In, we call it sexy carrot, but I think it's just a carrot. The carrot is fully nude. All but, okay. Can you call it fully nude if all carrots are fully nude by definition? You can't. You know, like. 390. Okay, I guess we're doing the next stretch as the sexy carrot at Tay Saxophonist Hollow Knight. Too bad there wasn't a. That's what she said. Attached to that line. We demand censored again? Yeah, but no carrots are wearing clothes. Clothes. Can something be here's here's my here's my my philosophical question for everybody. Can something be nude if by default it's not something that wears clothes? This is distressing, sorry Pancho. She's just a root gal. No, can suck. Is Plankton always naked? Yeah, yeah. Is Plankton always naked? What the heck is happening? I'm a sexy carrot. DeCapo. We're discussing whether or not something can be considered nude if it's not something that typically wears clothes ever. Like, are carrots nude? You know what I mean? Are they nude? Be because they don't wear clothes. You can't... It's weird to call it nude when it's not... That is the most nude thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I consider everything nude. Hardy, hi Hardy. This is this is not the greatest example of a sex stream. I'm I'm not usually a sexy carrot just today. So don't you know, don't get any ideas that this is what the content here is really like. Because that would be misleading. <laughs> that would be very misleading. What is going on? I'm a sexy carrot. What? 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 I'm a sexy carrot who has mystical hands that play the piano and control the game with the piano. This carrot is too sexy. I'm too sexy for my salad. Hi, Joel. And Dumpster. Hi, Dumpster. Dumpster, I still can't beat this damn challenge. <laughs> I still can't be P5 dumpster. Help. 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 Ah! Ah! Where did the standards go?
Um, do you realize there's a possibility that Sanks will go beat P5 as Sexy Carrot and it will, it will be forever cursed? You mean, by cursed, you mean blessed? Oh, not, that's not the zoom. I, I wish this, this closer zoom went into my face, but it does not, in fact, go to my face. <laughs> oh... It's it's not the most cursed filter I have. I think it. Hey, Arnell. Hello. What a day to have eyes. <laughs> shoving the carrots butt in our faces. It's not. It's unintentional. I don't mean to be shoving um, a butt in your face. A carrot butt. Does do carrots even have butts? I don't know why, but at 3 a.m. I had an amazing run that died to final phase of a uh, of absolute radiance. I um, the last time I got to it, I died in the first phase, and I'm very depressed because of that. Um, and I just died to who did I just die to? Code I died to Zot. Do carrots even have buds? Oh gosh, at that carrot is a war crime. crime. It's not the most cursed filter that I have in Snap Camera that I saved before snap camera shut down. The Luigi one is worse. <clears throat> this one's pretty good. Turns me into a Pixar character. It gets rid of my glasses though, weirdly, which I don't, only if I turn sideways, you see the glasses. I don't like that. Um, Where's, Where's, oh, this is the best one. Banjo, Banjo, come. This is, this is the best filter because it works on dogs. Banjo, come. Every animated Disney character has 2020 vision, correct. Yeah, this one works on banjos. Thank you. <laughs> oh, time warp. Hold on. Hold on. I can make it manually happen, I think. Oh no! My uh, my eyes got like squished because of the filter, because the way that they, the way that they jiggle around. No, where's the cursed one? It's the Luigi. This one's pretty good. That, oh, here we go. Here we go. We're into the Mario. No, this one. This is the worst. This is the worst of all of the filters. <laughs> Um, I think Potato actively unfollowed me <laughs> when I was playing Luigi's Mansion with this filter on. <clears throat> the way you whistle for Banjo reminds me of Coke Wee Frogs. I don't know what a Coke Wee Frog is. Cokey? Wait, Cookie Frogs? How do you get yourself on screen so cleanly without a green screen? Um, it is a Koki. Koki? Koki? Thank you for the follow. I don't, I don't know what I did to deserve a follow. Oh, it's Albrat. Never mind. <laughs> Thanks for the follow from my mod. I followed because of the Luigi face. Um, I have, there is a filter. Hold on. Okay. Um. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, I, CJ, thank you for the follow. Um, there's a, there's a camera filter that NVIDIA makes for OBS. That's a, like, a digital background remover. And it's gotten better and better over the past, like, six months. 
they keep updating it and it gets really clean without having to have a green screen which i'm glad because i like not having a green screen it works really no it's it's really good um there is a, a program called nvidia broadcast that you can use if you don't want to do the obs pro uh plugin and i did that for a long time where you just click a button to remove it and then you click another button to put it back the famous movie character luigi from baking bad it does look like breaking bad doesn't it okay i was supposed to be a banana a while ago so let's be a banana wow <sighs> <clears throat> Oh yeah, they have another filter. It's the same program, the NVIDIA broadcast, where they have an, uh, one of the filters uh, directs your pupils to the camera like at all times. So if you're reading, for example, like a news broadcast where you want your, your eyes to look at the camera, but you want to look at the, um, the teleprompter, it will like the, the yeah, no, it will direct your eyes to to the center of the camera, no matter where you're actually looking. Which is probably good for, like, news reporters, but I can't... That would feel very unnatural watching streamers that use that for me. Because then it's like I'm playing the game, but I'm staring at the camera the whole time, which is weird. Oh, no, Aaron L. <laughs> Thank you for clipping Google AI Banjo. It's, I, yes. Google AI Banjo is optimal banjo. This is not your game. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. It's my game. My game. I am the one who knocks. <laughs> 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 Whoa. 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 Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. This boss needs a good cleaning. You know what I mean? Can you use the eye filter teleprompt filter on banjo? I don't know if it works on dogs. Most most filters do not work on dogs, which I'm so, which is why I'm very shocked that that one googly eye one. The googly eye filter is the only filter that I have seen consi that consistently works on on dogs. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't. I usually can't recognize the shape of their face as a face, at least from my my experience. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Oh, I forgot to go in the bath. That's probably really not smart. I actually just zoned out and I was like, I literally just forgot to go in the bath. That could be the end of this run. Forgetting to bathe could end this, this, uh, this attempt here. and outer who yeah you know what I like this boss a lot <laughs> this is a good boss a great boss design <laughs>
Okay. It does in in this particular song I I don't disagree with you Um In general he doesn't though Wait, what? <clears throat> Wait, is it, this is an actual... David Bowie doesn't sing with the talking heads in the song, does he? That's not a thing. They've never collabed. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it is. No, the lead singer of Slugma. The lead singer's name is David Byrne. I see what you were doing. I see what you did there. My God, what have I done? That's him. That's the lead singer right there of this song in that redeem. I knew, oh, I thought one more hit was going to end him. <clears throat> but that was going to be it. Say on Sipo's randomly generated souls horn boss name is Half Baked Beef Boy. Please rate this boss name. <laughs> one one through 10. Um, okay. I, I like that one. I like that one for some reason. I don't know why I like that one, but I do like that one. Half Baked Beef Boy is a great name for a. Uh, for a Dark Souls name, I want to see the I want to see the uh, the Suyuki Chan art of that. I mean, the Chaosum art of that. <clears throat> yeah, a little a little alliteration there. Very fun to say out loud and fun to see in art form. Nine point eight three, very good. <clears throat> Hello. Um, yeah, there's actually been about, I assume, 20 names so far this year that got a perfect, uh, a perfect 10. A few of them only ended up with, like, one vote total. Definitely easier to get a perfect 10 if it's just, like, if one person catches the vote. Um, but that being said, there, there have been about 20 of them. Yeah, winning on a technicality. Yeah, so every March 
we'll take the best names of the best, like all of the highest rated ones, and uh, and we do a bracket competition throughout the month for which name is the best name of the year. And then I last year I got it. Uh, I got Chaosum, which is an artist I met on Twitch, to to draw all of the final eight. Sometimes this boss just throws you a bone and gives you two back-to-back -back little, little jellyfish that are easy to slap in its face. And then other times, doesn't. It's not, not as easy to do. as fast as I've ever beaten that bus. <clears throat> Lugma, I haven't said it all day today. Are you proud of me? It. Well, I might as well say it now. This boss is so much louder than all the other bosses. He's very tiny, but he's got a big mouth. I don't know why the game program has decided to make him so much louder than all the other bosses. <laughs> Miss Piggy is so loud. I, I never noticed until you said it that it, it really does sound like Miss Piggy. <laughs> Getting some screen tearing on his spin. I don't know if that's in the game or if it's a showing up on OBS, but when he starts to spin, you get like a little like line where you where it doesn't load or render properly. <clears throat> Thank you for the lurk, Pixie. And the Chihuahua photos. Oh my god. Go enjoy your dinner. Bonds are so annoying. Correct. <laughs> okay. Um. It starts to get fun. I have no lifeblood cocoons. I considered maybe doing that as a... Frodo! Hi, Frodo! Frodo. I don't know how much, how much that would actually help. I considered doing that as... Um, 
That's something that might help on certain parts of this run. Like, something that might actually help me complete the run if I continue to struggle with it. I don't know if it would help that much because I, I do get hit fairly often. And it really only helps for like the first two, right? Like the first two hits of each cycle. Got alert for work. Joel, thank you for the lurk. Hope work is, goes smoothly and quickly and painless. Oh, you would get one right before. Can you specifically just get that one first? Because the other ones are not going to be as easy for me, like, or as as helpful for me. But if you can get, if I can get a couple lifeblood right before Nightmare King Graham and Pure, uh, uh, and Pure Vessel, that would go, that would help. At least with the idea that I could continue to, like, very consistently get to, um, a rab. Absolute radiance. A rad? That's a baseball player, isn't it? Oh, that's A rod. Never mind. Life blood at every bench. Oh my god. Okay. Three to five lifeblood directly before pure vessel. Mmm. The bindings are a slog. Even for one and two, though? They can't be that much of a slog for the first, um... The first, uh... Pantheon. because it's already boring doing one and two and not takes longer. Uh, that makes sense. <gasps> Captain Danzabar. Hey, Danzabar. Danny, how are you? Happy Friday. Oh my god, it's Friday. I didn't even realize it's Friday. It's weekend. Yeah. Also, Sinex, hello. I missed you. I missed you coming in among the green hardy screen name. It's it's definitely something I could do. I'm just wondering if that would just end up taking longer than actually just logging through this and trying to get get the run. of the game how long did it take me to get 112 percent it was a it was a month or so month or month and a half of, of pretty much playing it every day every stream i play games slowly though so
I keep hitting like his cape and it's damaging me. I kept like walking into his cape in the end there. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> if you had the ball card for hours for someone who doesn't necessarily care about 100%ing, uh, I don't, you know what? I'm, I'm curious what the, the, you know, the website, how long to play. I feel like usually that website is pretty accurate. How long to play Hollow Knight? Um, is it, wait, what's the website? How long to beat, that is. Main story 27 hours is what it suggests, is what it, it estimates. 27 hours for the main story of this game, 41 hours, 41 and a half hours for main and sides, 62 hours for a completionist. 41 as an average. 62 is... Are, if they're considering P5 as completionist, then I feel like 62 is... Selling it short a little bit. Yeah, how long to beat? Whenever I like, I'm considering playing a game. I'll always go there just so I know an estimate of how long a game could be. Um, which is the reason why I have not ever played Persona Five. Because <laughs> if you go on that website and you say, "How long does it take to play Persona Five?", it will give you an estimate of like. A hundred and five hours for like a normal playthrough. Yeah, I don't know. This is terrible. This is a terrible, terrible run. There we go. At least I can heal before we go into Zote. We're going into Zote with more health, but that have been those were two really rough. Uh, rough Markovs. I think the way it's calculated is people just send in their their times that it took them to beat. Like it's user. Oh. Like user. Um. I forgot he does that. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I do wonder if it includes achievements as completionist. Ringo! Hi, Ringo.
Okay. Best boss in the game. <gasps> William Thork. Hi, William Thork. How are you? Really trapped me against the the wall there. Prediction: Will Sax beat Pure Vessel? We'll keep it. We'll keep it simple today. I have not practiced PFS, uh, Pure Vessel at all today. This is just just Only the next box. Randomly generated souls born boss name is condescending WWE wrestler. Condescending WWE wrestler. <sighs> okay, uh, I need a refill of coffee. I'm gonna. There's an ad about to start. I I want to run the ad before we get into Vessel and Dumb Bright Moth. So, quick minute thirty break. I will be right back. It's time to go beat this challenge. But it wasn't. I'm yours. <sighs> Thank you, Envoy. Thank you for having faith. out of the corner.
smooth. That was that was that was good. I, I enjoyed that fight. Okay, that's a prediction. Two's outcome, yes. <clears throat> New quick prediction. Only one minute. Will Sax beat P5? I haven't practiced this boss today. I, I made the cardinal mistake of not practicing this boss. I missed the prediction. Gonna miss some 14,000 channel points. Nah, we got it. We got it. Here's new prediction is up. You have 30 more seconds to vote. Send the channel points if you would like to. <laughs> I was taking a sip of my drink when I saw 30,000 points drop on no. <laughs> I literally choked. <laughs> Yay. <clears throat> Ten more, uh, two more seconds. One more second. No more seconds. Okay. Ugh. So many knives are happening right now. He's very knife... knife happy. there. Got lucky there, too. Oh, that was quite impressive. Sax <sighs> <sighs> wow, always wins. Sorry, I'm shaking. Oh, I, no. I, I haven't seen this yet. <laughs> I'm glad I'm a banana because I'm about to cry. <laughs> Hey, man. 
Crimson! Crimson! Eleven, you thank you for the bits. Crimson, thank you for the gift subs! What? Here. This is, um, yeah, this is a different. Yeah. I guess it's a different ending than. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Thank Mother you. Mother Sexopolis, this is Joy Bybum, President <laughs> of the United States of America. Have you ever at Fig New Towns? I love the taste of the gooey fig, all right? I was calling to congratulate you on this Hollow Knight thing, whatever that means. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Joey Bybum. <laughs> President. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. I can't, I can't believe that's done. This was a, it should have been a carrot run. Oh my god, I can't believe it's done. Do I get an achievement for this? Nerd, hi nerd! <sighs> and thank you, Mr. President, for, for bringing your regards down. I, you managed to change the conversation about, about P5 to make it about Fig Newtons, but that's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Rain! Hi, Rain. Rain. <laughs> it's over. It's <laughs> I beat it as a banana. Also, as I beat Melania as a banana, too. 